Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So we have to simplify this sort, okay? Simplify 2 root 2 minus 3 over root 2 plus 1 over root 8. Okay, this is just like asking you to solve a uh, normal, the way you solve is normal fractions, addition and subtraction of fractions is the same way you are going to solve this. But first of all, we need to simplify this root 8. You know that this root 8 is not in its simplest form. See what I mean? When you want to simplify this root 8 now, okay, you are going to look for two numbers that when you multiply those two numbers, you are going to have, one of them is going to be a perfect square and the other one is going to be an ordinary number. For example, when you look at root 8, root 8 can be expressed as what? 4 times 2, right? Root 4 times 2. Then you can separate them, root 4 times root 2. Okay, now what is root 4? Well, root 4 is 2. So this is as 2 times root 2. Same as 2 times root 2, which is 4 to 2 root 2. So that means that someone can replace root 8 with what? 2 root 2. This is its simplest form. Okay, so when I do it here, so that you understand what I'm doing, let's all solve this. First of all, this is what? 2 root 2 minus 3 over root 2, okay, plus 1 over, remember what I told you, this sentence has root 4 times 2, okay, so this is equal to 2 root 2 minus 1, minus 3 over root 2, plus 1 over, root 4 is what, 2 root 2, okay, I believe you understood what I did here. Now, this is what we are going to solve. We are going to look at this. What is the LCM of 1 root 2 and 2 root 2? Obviously, the answer is 2 root 2 because it's only 2 root 2 that 1 can divide, root 2 can divide, and 2 root 2 can divide it as well. So, we are going to draw a line. Your LCM is what? 2 root 2. Now, 1 divide 2 root 2. We are going to have 2 root 2. So, you are going to use the 2 root 2 that you got as your answer to also multiply this root 2 on top here. 2 root 2. Just like the way you do with your normal fractions. Okay? Just like the way you do with your normal fractions. Minus root 2 divided 2 root 2. That is 2 root 2 divided by root 2. You notice that root 2, we cancel root 2. You are left with 2. Okay? So, the answer you got, which is 2, you are going to use it to multiply what? This 3 here. Alright. Plus... 2 root 2 divided by 2 root 2 will still give you 1. See, 2 root 2 all over 2 root 2. This we cancel this, you have what? 1. Do you understand? So you are going to have 1. For this one, you are going to have 1 times this one. 1 times what? 1. Okay, I believe that you are following me, right? So we have 2 root 2 times 2 root 2. I want to bring something home. If you have something like root 2 times root 2. You know it is the same thing as root 2 squared, right? Now, what is root 2? You know that root 2 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power of half. If you want to remove the root sign, it's the same thing as 2 raised to the power of half. So it's like saying 2 raised to the power of half raised to the power of 2 again. You notice that this 2, we cancel this 2. You have 2 raised to the power of 1. Your answer is what? 2. So what is what does this mean? This means that when you have like, 2 root, uh, root 3 times root 3, you are going to have 3. Root 5 times root 5, no, no, no. you are going to have 5. No. So what this means is that if you have root 3 times root 3, you are going to have 3. If you have root 5 times root 5, you are going to have 5. And so on and so forth. Okay? Now let us bring this to this place now. So when you have 2 root 2 times 2 root 2, 2 root 2 into 2 root 2. You are going to multiply number by number, then root by root. Okay? So 2 times 2 will give us 4. Root 2 times root 2 will give us 2. Remember what I just told you. So that is what I'm going to write here. I wrote it here so that you see it clearly and understand what I'm going to do. So we are going to have 2 times 2 here. You are going to have 4 times root 2 times root 2. You are going to have 2. We are through with this. Minus 2 times 3 will give us what? 6, okay? Plus 1 times 1 will give us 1. All over 2 root 2. Now, this is equal to 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 6 plus 1. All over 2 root 2. 
okay this is equal to x minus 6 will give us 2 2 plus 1 will give us what 3 all over 2 root 2 okay we are still coming to complete this if this is the first time you're coming across my channel please do well to give it a follow okay then help me to comment in the comment section let me know what you actually feel about what i'm doing thank you very much all right now looking at this we are going to have notice that there is root two under the bracket or as a denominator for this to be balanced okay you don't need this root two here you need ordinary number here so we need to clear this root two and that is called rationalization for you to rationalize it you are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator with what this your root two so to rationalize it we are going to have three over two root two times root two over root two so this is equal to three times root two will give us three root two all over two is multiplying well, you know there's an invisible one here one root two so it's more or less like saying two times one will give you what two you have two then root two times root two is going to give us what root two times root two will give us what another two so it means that your final answer now becomes three root two all over two all right do have a lovely day and bye